All of us speak our mother tongue, a language that we've spoken since our childhood. But how many of us are actually ready to sacrifice our lives for the right to speak it? At the end of the British colonialism of the subcontinent, Pakistan was created at the same time in 1947, having two geographical parts, East Pakistan, which was Bangladesh, and West Pakistan, now known as Pakistan. This is separated by a huge landmass. In fact, the country of India. The two wings are separated by India on either side. Um, the two wings are also very different culturally through the languages they spoke, the food they ate, and the clothes they wore. So a year after Pakistan was created in 1948, the government of Pakistan declared that Urdu would be the state language, to which the East Pakistani population, which was also the majority of the population, um, they felt this was unfair and they wanted that Bangla should be recognized as, a, as the other state language, so there should be two, like many countries do. So the protest began by the people of East Pakistan demanding that Bangla be one of the national languages as well as Urdu. So to meet the protest or to control it, the, government, um, the central government at the time outlawed public meetings and rallies. However, the rallies continued and on the 21st of February in 1952, the students and the general public organized a huge procession and a gathering. So when the rally was in progress, the police opened fire. Salam, Barkat, Rafiq, Jabbar and Shafiud died in this process and many, many others were injured. This is one of those rare incidents in history where people were killed for the right to speak their own language their mother tongue. So the lives lost in 1952 did not go in vain because um, subsequently in May of 1954 Bangla was eventually declared as one of the state languages of Pakistan. Subsequently, in 1999, UNESCO recognized this day as International Mother Language Day. Today, it is celebrated worldwide in an effort to include and preserve all languages of the world. It's now 69 years since that fateful day on the 21st of February in 1952. Today we remember Salam, Barkat, Rafiq, Jabbar and Shafir with conscious respect for inspiring us with their courage and for giving us the power, empowering us to speak our mother tongue with pride in a nation of our own. It is now 69 years since that fateful day on Ekushe February 1952 that we remember Salam, Barkat, Rafiq, Jabbar and Shafir with conscious respect for inspiring us with their courage and giving us the empowerment to speak our mother tongue with pride in a nation of our own. I hope that our younger generations will be man mindful of the history and significance of this day. Above all, I hope they remember to embrace the diversity across the human spectrum, but to remember that our needs are common. We all require safety, dignity, and justice. Shubho Antur Jatik Matri Bhasha Dibosh.